So let's look at the one page uh, productivity planner and then we're going to do some time blocking uh, time blocking stuff here. All right, so let's uh, let's look at this here. So all of you have access to this uh, to this sheet here. Uh, and I'm going to go I'm going to go through it and explain how it works. And I'm also going to show you the DYD light because that's one tool that we've been using and you may or may not this this accomplishes all of it so you you can definitely make this work um, but I'll kind of go through it here so this is this is the first thing you do uh, in in your day whether you're using Brendan's or high performance Academy's one page productivity planner or if you're using the DYD light the dominate your day light that we put together uh, this is something you do before you open your email so you're not getting uh, absorbed into everyone else's agendas, you are focused on what am I going to do today? How am I going to kick the shit out of this day? You know, I know what I want this big thing to be that's out there in two, three years or five years, but what am I going to do today to move, move the needle, to move the needle forward on that? So uh, there's three sections. There's projects, people, and priorities. And this this will work right into um, right into what we do. So if you're if you're in production and you're trying to build out systems and working on product projects, but you've got to sort of get stuff done, you know you have stuff to get done. This will this will serve fine. If you want to use this versus the DYD, I'll go through both of them and you can pick one. Um, so this just has you picking. So these are the three big projects that you're working on. In in high performance coaching and the consulting work that I do we are always focusing on a 90 days so month one two three or 30 60 90 days and it's really only three things that you're focused on in a given month so so make sure you're not you're not taking on the dozen systems or dozen projects or marketing things that you want to work on you're just working on three at a time and there are three different things for everybody so if you have a team of buyer agents and they don't respect respect you or accountability you're probably going to want to implement the buyer system. There's nine pieces of the buyer system. That's that's one project. Implement buyer system. And what's the five things I must do today to move this project forward? Actually, I don't even think it's today, but just what are the next five things, five big things I must do to move this project forward? So you may knock some of them off in the day. You may not, but you're always focused on the three main projects and the five big things that you must do to move the project forward. So the first thing every day, even if it's a repeat of what you wrote out the day before, you're going to be putting in your, your, your three projects. And I believe this is fillable. Let me open this up in a different version. You guys may already realize this. High performance, productivity. <clears throat> yep, so this is fillable. So buyer system. And then you're, you know, maybe it's um, convert lead management policy. Let's see if it gets smaller as you continue. Nope. So you have to keep your text small. Um, so I probably just type this out every day and print it out. And if you change it the next day, print one of these out every day. So you should put a date in here uh, and print a new one out every day. Um, all right, so that's that's the top section. Let me let me continue rolling on this one since I have it open. So one page productivity planner, one of these every day, Monday through Friday. Um, all right, so you've got your three projects. So these are the three three big projects that are going to change your business and five things to move each of those forward. Uh, then the concept is, you know, anytime you open up email, it's sort of a black hole. I fall into it when I have coaching calls all day, you know, in between my coaching calls, I kind of just check email and stuff. And, um, I've gone a complete day. I, I went to, and I'm, 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 I've been slipping back, but, uh, for a few weeks, I went to check in my email once, uh, once per day. Uh, I had Peggy, my client care person, check it if there's any sort of bombs in there. Um, and if I left it to the end of the day, I could get through all of my email in about 30 to 45 minutes. And I'm sure if I just let it kind of absorb 
uh, let it kind of just get into my um, checking it all the time, I would spend 90 to 120 minutes. So I could I could cut the time in half on email. So the concept of people is, you know, people uh, that you either need to reach out to today. So you can go into email and send them an email, but not get absorbed into your inbox. And so basically you just list the people that you have to reach out to today, no matter what. So this could be for a price reduction or getting in touch with Andrew at F-by-phone to get your F-by-phone set up. Um, it could be following up with a listing appointment that you didn't get. They needed additional information. Uh, this is the list of people that you need to reach out to today. And this is the, the next part is people that you're waiting on. List the people who need something, uh, who you need something from to move forward. So once you list out these people, this is your agenda of who you're going to let into your let into your world today. And if you're in production, it's unpredictable, right? So if a buyer that you're working with, an A buyer that's ready to buy, wants to see a home and they get in touch with you, I mean, you know, maybe you didn't expect that. Or maybe they should have been someone that you were going to reach out to today if they were an A buyer anyway. Uh, but this is just a deliberate sort of uh, approach. And these are fillable as well. So a deliberate approach to making sure you dictate who you interact with on a daily basis and not the other way around. And then the last section is priorities. And this is kind of like our top six that we use in the DYD light. Uh, so these are the main things you must complete today, no matter what. And I probably wouldn't do more than six here, but these are the priorities and to do's that must be accomplished today and do these things before get, getting trapped in your inbox and other people's agendas. So these are, you know, if you're going on a listing appointment in the afternoon, you know, to prep for the listing, point, do, listing appointment, doing the equity evaluation. Uh, if you have uh, one-on-ones with agents, uh, there's a bunch of things that you could put on here. But what are the priorities, the, the big things? You know, there's probably 50 things you get done in a day. But what are the big six or 10 that have to happen no matter what for you to move the needle on moving you closer to your goals.